There they are. They're in there. That was the happiest moment of of our life, and then this whole nightmare began. 战争纷扰下，新手爸爸使尽所有力气，要将两位宝宝运出战区。幸好在过程中遇到了非营利组织，热心帮忙。I have an American father who's saying, "Help me, help me! My boys are in trouble. They're they're in Kiev." Which is being shelled and missiled and rocketed and invaded. Kind of, how do I say no? 分秒必争，在暴风雪袭击下，以每小时八十英里的时速顺利抵达波兰医院。如今，新手爸爸终于能和心爱宝贝们见面。另外，这间位在首都基辅的医院，则是收治了许多受到战火波及的无辜伤患。We just had a report that there's been a mass casualty event. We're seeing people being brought in. Possibly, it was a humanitarian corridor that was hit. We're not entirely clear at the moment. Probably the most difficult were first three days or even two days. Now、uh, we have just、um, you know how to move into a normal our normal regime, which which is actually not normal, but we are. Already used to that. When the bombing started, we began to run. She says, "I thought there'd be less bombing, and then they began to bomb everything, the whole district." 在战火交锋下，医护人员和救援组织扛起照顾责任，燃烧使命感，就是希望能为这群无辜市民尽上一点心力。TVBS 新闻玲珑是周佩宇台北报道。请支持一个专门报道国际新闻的全新 YouTube 频道 TVBS 国际 Plus， 扩大视野，掌握趋势，请订阅。并开启通知小铃铛。